Hey guys, this is Kaizen here, and in today's video we're going to look at five redstone monostable circuits and how to build them. Okay, so here we have a monostable circuit, and what this does is basically shortens the pulse, and if we hit the button right here, you'll see that. So basically this goes very quickly, and the lamp goes on and off. Compared to if we had a button next to the lamp, it would go for that long. So this is the purpose, and it's used in all kinds of machines. It's very simple to make. All we need to do here is place down a block with a button on top of it, and then some redstone dust next to that. We then need to place a sticky piston on the floor here with a block on top of that. And finally, a redstone repeater going like this. And then we can take our output from that. And if we want it to be a lamp, put the lamp there. And there we go. It works. Next up, we have a really useful monostable circuit that produces a one tick pulse and is silent. So you see here we hit the button and there we go. We get our pulse. It's very simple to build as well. So we just need to place a button down there with a redstone torch like that and a dust next to it. We're then going to want two repeaters going like this a bit of dust here and another repeater there. So you can see here, this makes use of the repeater locking mechanism. And this is where we will draw our output from. So then when we go and hit the button, we get our one tick pulse just like that. Next up, we have what is known as a falling edge monostable circuit. So this is how we set it up. And you'll see if I hit the button here like this, this is the output. So nothing happens at first, and then it comes on and does a quick pulse like that. Now these are pretty simple to build as well, they're a slight adaptation of the last one that we did as it happens. So basically we just place a button down there, two redstone dust like this, then we want repeaters going in this direction with a block there, and finally a repeater here that will take our output to do whatever we want to do, and that is the stable complete. Next up we have the hopper dropper monostable circuit, and this one is very simple to build, but it doesn't produce an exact one tick output, which can be a bit of a problem, and we'll come on to that in a bit of time. So to build the hopper dropper monostable circuit, here's what we need to do. First thing is just to place a button down on the side here, then a dropper facing upwards and a hopper facing into that dropper. Then we're going to take our output from here using a comparator facing in this direction. And in our case, we're simply going to be lighting a lamp with it like this. Now we just need to chuck any item in here like that. And then every time we push the button, there we go. That's how that works. For our final monostable circuit, we have what's known as a rising and falling edge detector. So when I hit this button here, you'll see that the lamp goes on twice, once when this moves and once when it comes back again. And there are a few times when this can be useful if you want to detect the rising and falling. So to make this one, what we need is a sticky piston in there like that, with a button placed on the block above it like that. A redstone block on the sticky piston with a couple of redstone dust like this and a torch here. And this is where we'll take our output from. So then, we hit the button, and there you go. That's how it works. So guys, that was five redstone monostable circuits. I hope this video helped. Please do leave a comment if you have any questions or anything else you'd like to see redstone-wise. I will be making a series on all different redstone contraptions. So if there's anything you want, just let me know. But thanks very much for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please do leave a like and be sure to subscribe if you want to keep in touch with more videos like this. But for now, that's all I have time for. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.